how's everybody doing? This is Coach Terrence Wood with Before You Go Pro, and we have another BYGP TV Coaches Minute. As you can see, we're on the BYGP Brain Board, and our topic today, our teaching topic today, is the blessing and curse of an ego. And this is something that a lot of people actually already are aware of because it's a chapter in our book, and I'll get to that later, but this is huge for athletes today. All the athletes that we work with, with Before You Go Pro, we, we preach this, and I just want to teach you guys some of the lessons as far as how your ego works and how it can be a positive or a negative for you. So first and foremost, your ego is your perception of self. You know, how do you feel about yourself? Are you somebody that has your chest up and you got your head up and you're confident? Or are you somebody that is feeling down and you don't think you're worth much and you don't think you'll ever accomplish much? And your, your ego, to a certain degree, is based off of people, other people's perception of you. It's your influence, your, your exchange with the world. If you are an athlete and you are a highly talented athlete, there's a good chance that everybody's, for the most part, been kissing your butt. Since you were a little boy or a little girl, everybody's been catering to you. And your ego gets inflated. And that's natural. It's a human thing. But it might not necessarily serve you the way that you want it to. So your ego is getting developed as people are perceiving you and you're perceiving their perception of you. And what happens is, is we're building relationships throughout the whole process of becoming a top flight college student athlete or a potential college student athlete. And those relationships have to be number one. They have to stay strong or else you risk the chance of maybe getting kicked out of a program or maybe not having that coach say your name when a college is asking what kids need to be recruited. So your relationships are key, but relationships get hard to keep in order when your ego is not in a proper alignment. It's not what people want to be around. If you're somebody that's constantly talking about yourself, people aren't going to want to be around you. They're not going to want to say that's the kid that we want to try to get off to a college one day. So you always have to keep in mind whether or not your ego is serving you positively or negatively. And this is something that you always have to monitor because you could be the kid on the bench like Cardell Jones for Ohio State and now he may win a national championship and everybody's going to be kissing his tail. And how does his ego respond to that? So these are four things that you need to remember as you are a student athlete. And, and some of you guys are some pretty successful student athletes. So as you go along your journey, here are four things that you need to remember and keep, keep in order. So first and foremost is balance. You know, have people around you that are always going to keep it real with you. Have people around you that even when you are the first team All-State kid, they, they, they taper it down for you. They pump the brakes for you and they let you know that, hey, you still got some things to work on. Have those type of people around you so you can always have balance. The other thing is humility. Realize that there are other pieces, other players in place that help you have your success. So you always want to be humble because one day you might not be the best out there. You might not be the cream of the crop and you always want to keep that in mind. The other thing right here is consciousness. And consciousness means that you're aware of what's going on. You know, when you throw four touchdowns and all the newspaper reporters want to interview you, be conscious that they want to interview you because you just had a great game. But that doesn't mean that you're the, the best player, you know. That doesn't mean that you are, uh, for some of these athletes, we marvel at their athletic talent, but that doesn't mean they're the best dad. That doesn't mean they're the best brother, you know. So keep everything in place. That young lady that wasn't talking to you before, and now she is after you throw four touchdowns, be conscious of why now she's interested. So a consciousness about you. And last but not least, the, the, the fourth thing that can keep your ego at bay is thanks. 
in, in my world, um, I know it's not me. I give it to a higher purpose. I give thanks for everything that I get, receive, and I can do. For you, you know, uh, it may be your parents. It may be somebody, a coach that's aiding your success. Give thanks. All of these things, you're keeping things in balance, your humility, your consciousness, your thanks will always make sure that your ego is not a curse for you. It is a blessing. If you guys have not checked out our book at Before You Go Pro, it's a hell of a book. And we actually, in chapter 38, there's the blessing and curse of an ego, which dials in on this a whole lot more. But this is something that all kids parents, coaches really need to get a grasp on. Check us out at www.beforeyougopro.com. You can check out all of our content, social networking links, and we would love to work with you soon. Have a good one. See you at the top.